Hi everyone. Welcome back to the second day of our fish tutorials. Yes, we have just been talking about how terrified some people are handling fish. We'll be doing a few recipes over about five episodes where we will be dealing with different kinds of fish. Really easy peasy, lovely summer dishes. Here we have about 225 grams of green cheese and we have about 250 mils of milk. We are going to pour half this milk into a pan and about a tablespoon full of powdered gelatin on top of it. This is to soften the gelatin as it sits in the milk. Meanwhile, we continue with softening our cream cheese. We are going to make today a molded tuna salad. A molded tuna salad which can be set in the fridge and easily be served for lunch or dinner during a summer party. Okay, so our cream cheese is beaten, beaten and our gelatin has become spongy. What we are going to do, we are going to on a very low heat stir the milk and the gelatin so that the gelatin dissolves. This will take a little bit of time. The gelatin is melted and we are going to add the rest of the 250 milliliters of milk that we have. Really thoroughly mix it and pour it into our cream cheese. Now we will mix the cream cheese and the rest of the milk that we have put in with the gelatin mixture. And while this is mixing, we are simply going to take another pan and we are going to heat it up and a little olive oil goes in just a touch about a tablespoonful and a half and bring it to heat by the time we have mixed our cream cheese and milk mixture well I don't want any globs in it because this is going to be a set salad. This is going to cool a little. By that time, my oil is hot and I'm going to put in about two small finely chopped onions. So our onions have got a very nice aroma. I'm going to put in about one green pepper cut finely and about two tomatoes also cut finely. These build up the taste to there that one is going to get into the salad. You will notice one thing. I have probably not seasoned this because the tuna is very salty and I do not want it to become over -salty. So while this is cooking down, we will cook it down till the, all the vegetables soften. So our vegetables have softened and now I am going to take a bit of French dressing. French dressing is nothing, a bit of apple cider vinegar, a bit of normal white vinegar, some salt, some pepper, some olive oil. So I'm going to pour the dressing into the pan. It will sizzle up a little and I'm going to add some spinach. Now this liquid gives a lovely taste to the salad and helps also the spinach to wilt. Beautiful. The spinach is already wilting. Oh, we can taste the smell, the lovely vinegar. Now, I'm going to let it simmer a little so that the spinach is completely cooked. And I will add all this then into the cream cheese, milk and gelatin mix. So, our mix of bell peppers and tomatoes and onions have cooled down a bit. Here we have the cream cheese and the milk mix. We are going to simply put this into the liquid mix and we are going to blend this mm, the, the vinegar of the French dressing is giving such a lovely aroma here and now the main actor of the whole plate the tuna chunks they come in and I am going to blend them a little also. Break up the chunks please because one doesn't really want big pieces of tuna. This is tuna in brine. Tuna chunks are also got, uh, you can also buy them 
in uh, chili sauce or tomato sauce or something. But tuna in brine is better because the brine cuts the oiliness and the heavy taste that tuna has sometimes. So here I have got four ramekins, which I am. You can also set this salad in one big piece, but I'm going to do it in uh, individual servings, which is great for a sit-down dinner. So I have oiled lightly these ramekins and I am going to put in. So we put in portions of our molded tuna salad into the oiled ramekins. It takes a little time to set. And we're going to bung this into the fridge for about four hours minimum or overnight if possible. Now we're going to make an egg yolk and dill sauce to go with our tuna salad. It's really very easy. Take two well boiled, hard boiled egg yolks and just crumble them with the grater gently into a pan. We are using two medium sized egg yolks and this gives a lovely texture to the entire dressing. Wonderful, a little more to go. And that's our egg yolk crumble done. We mix with it a little chopped dill. For this I would rather uh, suggest that you use fresh dill. Anyway, dill is wonderful with fish all the time. A little bit of garlic paste. Salt. Great, some freshly crushed pepper. And an ingredient which I love in salad dressings is some mustard. Mustard gives that lovely tang uh, to the salad. Just a little bit, about a teaspoonful full. And mix it all together. And now we'll mix in some lemon juice, some vinegar. Look at the lovely consistency that it's getting with the dill and the yolks. And now to emulsify it, we are going to add in a thin stream the olive oil. That is our salad dressing almost emulsified. All we have left to do is add some chopped red peppers. These are pretty hot. Uh, the, you mean the fresh, I mean the fresh red peppers like the fresh green chilies. So you can add as much as you want according to the type of heat you want in your dressing. And while our salad is setting, we are going to bung this into the fridge and chill it. Okay, so we have got our molded tuna salads out of the fridge. Mine were in for about uh, five hours but uh, it is better always to do it overnight. So what we do, we take our plate and abracadabra please happen. Okay, this will take a little time and out comes our lovely molded tuna salad. Here it is. We are going to put on some of our, remember we made our lovely egg yolk and red pepper dressing. I'm going to pour on some of our dressing. onto it and we are going to serve it with some crispy toasts on the side. 